Titanfall 2 G2A5 class setup. Anyway, the G2A5 has been declared multiple times for multiple reasons, being one of the best weapons to have in a loadout or just weapons to go around with. Anyway, let's get over on this class setup and also keep in mind in the gameplay that I do have quite a lot of Titan gameplay in here and. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of proud of it. Like, the longest time I've ever survived in an Ion Titan. Anyway, you have Phase Shift. No, I'd say this is kind of a Panic Slash Flank button. And then you have the Fire Star. Fire Star is, I'd say, um, yeah, it forces movement out of enemies. So, if they're, like, out in the corner, you know, and, like, camping, well, you can, uh, get them out of that situation super quick. And, uh, then is the G2A5 itself with the appropriate attachments of uh, speed reload and tactic kill. Tactic kill is for uh, recharging that phase shift a lot quicker than just uh, having the timer going down. And I'm using the holo sight because the iron sights kinda get in the way. Then you have the MGL, if you're using a Titan weapon, I recommend this, or the charge rifle. But then, if you're using a secondary, I recommend the uh, either the full the RE auto pistol or the wingman. Then you have fast regen just to get in and out of the battle faster, and reemplacement replacements for fast regen. Um, I'd say ordnance expert or the power cell, but I'm not sure with power cell. I think ordnance expert will be, I'd say, better <laughs> than the. I'd say power cell, but fast regen is my pick. And then you have low profile, and uh, I'd say if you're you're a solo player, you can use kill report. Kill report has its up and ups and downs. Uh, its ups it basically uh, keeps you informed when you're playing solo, but if you're playing with the party, what's the point? And <laughs> so low profile is hanging in there pretty well. Uh, other than that, <laughs> the playstyle I'm trying to do is kind defensive. Like, basically keep the enemies from medium to long distance 24-7, um, or at least try to. At a close range, you're going to have to get that finger trigger, uh, f trigger finger ready, or trigger lock, whatever, and just, just spam the trigger you know, when the guy's right in your face. But when you're at medium range, um, you can do the same fire rate, but just be careful with your aim. And at long range, you might need to pace that rate of fire just uh, be just to be careful with the recoil because uh, it, it can go up a ways just because like it looks like it's going up, so you kind of want to compensate and look down. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, it actually does not have recoil, even though it does look like it's jerking back and forth. And <laughs> replacements for the tactical include, um, I'd say, grapple hook, just to get in and out of stuff, cloak, and pulse blade. Uh, maybe stim, I'm not sure, and we all know how bad hollow pilot is. And a wall is also a pretty good one. So phase shift, a wall, grapple, and cloak, and pulse blade are kind of I of the ones that I see around most, and I kind of see why. Like, Pulse Blade gives you an area of, of effect to see all the enemies on the map. Well, most of the, the enemies in, within an area of the map. <laughs> Cloak is obvious because you want to delay that reaction time when dealing with long range. And then, um, Grapple Hook to get in those nicks and crannies in the middle of the map. Then, the AWOL, obviously for campers, but then also to ramp up that damage on your G2A5 or any other weapon. Like, with the Devotion, it's absolutely awesome. Like, hip fire only craze with the Devotion light machine gun. Anyway, <sighs> I'd say this weapon is one of the best in Titan, Titan recommendations. Uh, I'd say pick your own. But I kind of like to make a play with my Titan, so Tone will be a very good one. 
But anyway, smack that like button, hit the sub, drop the comment, and I'll see you guys later for another video on my channel. And enjoy the gameplay. I'm out of here.